Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh, here in the empty studio, or my haters like to call my mom's basement. It is uh, kind of bittersweet tearing this whole place down and getting ready to move because we are moving tomorrow, which is going to be crazy, but I realized I have to do this video because I have nothing for this week. And you might not see me Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll try my best. Maybe I'll do a live or something like that. Maybe by the fire, if we're allowed to have fires. I'm not even sure we're allowed to have fires, but we'll figure something out, okay? I won't leave you hanging. I'm going to do some reposting of old videos because that's what I do when I need a break. But yeah, everything's off the walls. Everything's packed, ready to go. I was going to leave a little while ago, but I realized I can't be driving when I'm taking pain medicine, so... I'm here. And we've been packing like crazy. You never realize how much crap you have till you pack up all the crap that you have. And you're like, I have a lot of crap. We have too much crap. So I bet you I'll be doing a dump run in no time. Anyway, what are we talking about today? Obviously the Doherty dozen because holy smokes, they are literally attacking my country now? <laughs> Excuse me? How dare you? One, two, three, let's go. So Alicia said she's going to attempt to make Canadian, well, she says authentic Canadian food. But let's be real. Nothing Alicia makes is authentic. And you know how I know? Because it's Alicia. And she can't make anything authentic. Because either she's going to mess something up, she's going to use wrong ingredients, or she doesn't have some ingredients, so she's going to replace with different ingredients. And it's not going to be authentic. So, so if you're going to do authentic, then bring a Canadian in who knows what the hell they're doing. Not me, because I would never. Because F you, that's why. But bring a Canadian in. Didn't she say she was going to bring someone in for Belgium or something and there was nobody there? So, okay. Don't mess with my country, Alicia. Okay, Canadians are nice, we're polite and everything else, until you mess up our cuisine. Then it's no holds barred, okay? I'm coming for you and your thumbs. So let's watch this bullshit. Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dockerty Dozen and this is our weekly around the world night where we cook food from a different country or culture or area of the world. And tonight we are doing Canada because it is Canada Day on Saturday. Happy Canada. What am I hearing? I, I know I don't have my normal setup because everything's kind of torn down. I have like a basic setup. I have like a portable speaker and stuff. So I hope you can hear it. But there's something that sounds like a dog is licking its ass in the background or something. First, sparkling water. I don't know why my dogs always choose like the minute I start vlogging to get a drink of water as well. Should they apologize? for living their normal life. You are always vlogging, Alicia. Nobody can do anything in the house when you're vlogging because you're always vlogging. So if your dog wants to lick his ass, he's gonna have to do it on the internet. That's your fault, not your dog's fault. We are making lobster tail. These were the ones I got at Costco. Can't go. 10 of them tonight. Okay, is lobster tail a Canadian thing? Like, I don't, I mean, East Coast, I guess, like Newfoundland, PEI, I guess. Not really. Like, if you think of authentic Canadian cuisine, you don't think of lobster, that's for sure. It's poutine. You got, what else do we have? That's basically it. Poutine. That's beaver tails. That's one thing. We got really good, delicious chips, all dressed. Sour cream and bacon, ketchup. Whoo, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to think what's authentically Canadian, and I'm Canadian. Poutine is like that one thing you know, it's a Canadian thing. And if you don't know what poutine is, it's just basically French fries, gravy, and cheese curds. And it is important how you make the fries, and it's important which gravy you choose, and it's important which cheese that you choose. If you're not using St. Albert's cheese curds, you're not even making poutine, you're making an abomination, okay? If you don't use good gravy, it's also important. Like, I mean, gravy is gravy. Because I prefer, I prefer like turkey gravy, like chicken brown gravy, whereas a lot of people prefer the dark brown, like beef gravy. But I prefer the lighter gravies. So I don't know, you know, it depends. But the true authentic poutine is a dark brown beef gravy with St. Albert's cheese curds, thick ass French fries. That's how, that's how we roll. On the cob from Wegmans, gonna make 15 ears of corn. Now, I couldn't find smoked meat, Canadian. smoked meat sandwiches, so I got roast beef. So I'm gonna make smoked meat sandwiches, which I, yeah, I guess it's a Montreal thing. Montreal is like our hub of like the best food, right? So poutine comes from Quebec. Montreal smoked meat comes from Montreal, obviously, and it's probably the most delicious thing you've ever had in your life. They put like this much meat between two pieces of bread. It's crazy. Dunn's makes them in Ottawa. It's very, very tasty. But that's not smoked meat. You're making a roast beef sandwich, which isn't Canadian. Again, there she goes again. 
Not using the right ingredients. F off, Alicia. One of you gave me the awesome idea to simmer it in some beef stock and liquid smoke to make it smoked meat. No, that does not make it smoked meat. That they are defrosting because I in the freezer. No, asshole. No, just because you soak it in beef broth and smoke? Are you out of your mind? Then don't make that part of the meal. Find something else. What an idiot. I cannot believe this woman. I am cheating with the uh, poutine. 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 Yeah. So Josh walks in like, poutine. Absolutely. I mean, you can say poutine. Sure. But it's not, and he's all confident like he's saying it right. It's not, it's poutine. Poutin. So imagine the word poo and the word tin. Poutin. That's it. It's put if you're French, it's poutin. Right? But it's poutine. Eh. Sure. But he's all confident that he's saying it right when he's not. If you're actually trying to say it right, it's poutin. Many different ways to say it. I don't really know. Um, just There's not different ways to say it. There's only one way to say it. Fries. Cook up some canned gravy. Is he yeah. cutting raw fish with those scissors that she uses for everything? Cool. Josh is helping with the lobster tail. And the kids are doing their electronics time, so you might hear a little bit of that going on. We take the clock down in the evening because it glares. But don't worry, time still exists even when the clock is taken down. They shot is she throwing shade at somebody? Because we, we make fun of her clock or something? What do you mean? It glares. What? Put it on an angle then, dickweed. What is... Why do you even comment on it then? Because she reads the comments. She goes to a Reddit thread. She reads everything. She knows, like, what's, what time... Who cares what time it is? You're making dinner. Like, we give a shit. We know you lie about everything, so what does it matter at this point? Because it glares. Like, you give a shit about quality of video, you dumbass. Your thumb glares. Yeah. I can't believe she's doing a smoked meat. If if Montreal finds out what she's doing, they're gonna send people to kneecap you. You don't do that. That is gross. Yeah. I'm cook it. Ew, lady. Uh, in the oven. No, but I thought you were looking up like. Oh, I did. I'm gonna do some butter and salt and pepper. Okay. Oh my God! Don't forget to touch every slice of meat. Oh my god. I only need a little bit of this. I've learned that the hard way. A little bit goes a long way. Well, it's like any type. Why does she have that face like. <laughs> looks delicious when you have a face that looks like he just farted right into your nostrils. It's like you're walking up the stairs and you take a big yawn. You're like, <gasps> right? Or you're like breathing in heavy and he farts and the fart goes right directly into the back of your throat. That's what she looks like is going on right now. Well, no, one, it was just like overwhelming. It wasn't bad, it was just. No, it was bad, stop lying. Ew, Josh, what are you doing? Can't you cook, don't you have to cook the lobster first? Again, I grew up poor, we never had lobster, so I don't know what he's Much doing. Much easier than last time. Sure is. <laughs> Alicia, you, okay, so here's the thing too. If you're gonna make something, right, and you're gonna do it wrong, Nobody's going to eat it because it's going to taste like shit. So why are you making 400 pounds of it? Okay? That is not Montreal smoked meat. You are a douche. So why make so much? Why waste? That amount of meat in Canada right there, I'm not kidding you, would cost $40. That she's just soaking in broth that's going to taste like shit that her kids aren't going to touch. Make a little bit of, like if you're going to do a, a whole thing, make a, li a little bit of everything and everybody can just take a little bit of everything. Nope, she makes one for everybody of everything blah, 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 or 15 of each. That's just do a la carte some shit, man. Holy shit. I can't. I'm so angry you're messing up the smoked meat. This for you. Yeah, you can buy them like pre-cut, pre-trimmed, pre like out of the shell. But it's actually, I mean, these are really good quality. They are. It's Costco. Relax. And we're getting three meals out of them. It was two hundred twenty-nine dollars, I think, for a box of thirty. Okay. Jason just can't eat three of them this time. Yeah. <laughs> Although no one else wanted them that night, so it was okay. Maybe tonight they will. They won't. 
If they didn't want them then, they're not going to want them now. They're not into lobster. Okay. Oh, we had a big snack. Oh Should my God, with the snack? meat, lady. Chill with the meat. Are you supposed to put cheese on a smoked sandwich? No. Sauerkraut. That I don't know. I mustard and sauerkraut. I don't like sauerkraut, so just mustard's fine. But no, you don't put cheese on it. I mean, you can, if you want. We did it a year ago for Canada Day. Because we have some friends in Canada. Do you? Well, did you know a large part of my... A large percentage of my heritage is French Canadian. It is. Makes sense. <laughs> you met a French Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Tabernacle. Sucker blue! Instead of saying we, oui, like a lot of people who learn French, the word yes is we. Oui, but in French, if you actually go to Quebec, it's like wah. That's what they say. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. It's literally what it sounds like ducks walking. Wah, wah. Yeah. You're just making that up. No, it's like making stuff up now. No, 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 I swear. <laughs> Shut up! Let's go. You are wearing those jeans again! Stop wearing the freaking jeans, Alicia! This is gonna sit on the corner. gonna wash the lobster out. Yummy! Okay. So far, nope, none of this is really Canadian. Like lobster, I mean, lobster is Maine. Isn't lobster more of a Maine thing? Like, I know Canadians have lobster, but we're not famous for lobster. I'm sure there is a city in the East Coast that is famous for lobster. But can I, when you say Canadian cuisine, again, lobster doesn't come into the question. Lobster doesn't come into the scenario. It's poutine, smoked meat. Like, we were pretty boring when it comes to Canadian cuisine. There's not really a lot. A lot of junk food that's, like, specifically Canadian. Yeah, we're not. We're not that good. So all you really had to do is make poutine. That's it. And get real smoked meat, which you could have just gone to a butcher for. Put these by the stove so they fall. Wait, what is she making with the rolls? I have to take those out. Oh, smoked meat sandwiches. Which, by the way, if you do real smoked meat sandwiches, you put on rye. So that is what it is. They're messing up again. So nothing they're making is authentic. I'm so surprised they don't have an air fryer. But she makes everything in the oven. Like, no thanks. Wash your corn. I guess it's gonna be boiling water, so it doesn't really matter. It should probably anyway. You broke it. What's that? You broke it? I broke it. That one's for you, Josh. Sorry, Mom. Thank you. Okay. Nope. Nope. Holy fries, Batman! Three bags of fries. First of all, no, you don't need that many. It's a side. A poutine can be a main, of course. If you're gonna do a main course, fine, you make a lot of fries. But this is a side on top of lobster, corn on the cob, and, and smoked meat. Okay, you don't need to make that much. Josh takes way too long to do shit. Way too long. What kind of gravy is this? Turkey gravy. I mean, that's okay. It's acceptable. Again, if you're doing the authentic, if you're coming to Quebec, or if you're coming to Canada for a poutine and you want the absolute, you know, fundamental, right down to its core, poutine, that's not the right gravy. It's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying if you're coming for the authentic one, you got to try the authentic one, and that's dark beef gravy. It's almost gelatin, right, if you get the good stuff. That's gross. I mean, 
It's the gravy I prefer. I'm just saying, they're not doing it right. Holy shit. This is so boring. Nana's here, you son of a bitch. Well, let me tell you right now, that's way too much gravy already. You don't need four effing cans of gravy. All right? <laughs> you get a handful of french fries. You put them in your bowl. Okay? You get a handful of, of cheese curds. Throw them in your bowl. Then you get a little... Like, you can get a lot of gravy. I'm not saying, but that's way too much for that. You just get, put the gravy on top. Melts the cheese curds into the fries and eat it. You don't need to be souping up the gravy and drinking it afterwards. You Again, like Alicia always asks, I don't need too much. Everything you do is too much. Everything always. Just assume that you're wrong and you're always wrong. You're always going to be wrong. You always make way too much food. You don't even need a corn on the cob each. Cut them shits in half. They're like If they actually ate the food that they made, these kids would be four times the size that they are. This is why I don't think the kids actually eat that shit that she makes. Poutine is one of my favorite things. You need plenty of gravy. Okay. Although I don't know if people are going to disagree with that. That's just my opinion. Well, your what kind of gravy wrong. is it? Mm-hmm. Get the right kind, okay? There it is again! She's like, okay, I always mess up everything, okay? We're going to do authentic food, okay? But every time I do authentic food, I mess it up every single time. Time, you suck, Alicia. Holy shit. Just do your research, spend a little time, and stop doing this. It's not endearing. I think she thinks it's endearing. It's like, it's, I mess up everything, right? Isn't it cute? No, lady! Your kids hate you. I thought that's what I grabbed. What is it? I saw golden and gravy, and then I realized after it was golden pork gravy. Oh, no, lady, no! Not pork gravy. I thought she was doing turkey gravy, which is okay. But no, it's beef gravy, dumbass. Well, they're not gonna know. And they will know. Well, they're not gonna know because they're not gonna eat it, so you're right. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> you're damn right you're sorry. It was early. In the I don't want to hear your shitty excuses, Alicia. Just get the right shit. The night that somebody woke us up at midnight. Who? <laughs> he just wanted a drink. <laughs> We're supposed to get that or something? We're supposed to get your inside shitty jokes? Because we don't. It's Sean's fault. I definitely. <laughs> Although, don't be a brown gravy mix out there. Yeah, you yes. probably do. You feel like making homemade gravy right now? Because I don't. It's not hard to make homemade gravy from a mix, asshole. Come on now. Be real. You're, you just put water in it, probably. That's it. You feel like making homemade. You asshole. Why don't you give your kids something good for once, man? Show people you care. He's complaining. And he's right to complain. Josh is showing you guys what everybody, their whole family has to go through every time. And he's kind of sick of it. He's like, you never make the proper thing. We want this thing that, we, that we're excited for. But you mess it up by either ruining it, by not having the proper ingredients, or by burning it, or... By just whatever doing it. You you suck, man! And you did it with my country's meal. I mean, I didn't expect anything better. So I kind of came in with those low expectations. But some people might not. You know? Yeah, she doesn't care. Is, what she, is that what she said? Merp. Merp. Okay, you're not gonna make homemade gravy, asshole. Do you know what homemade gravy is? It's literally the drippings from the meat that you cook, and then you put it in a pan, a little bit of broth, maybe some flour, mix that up, salt and pepper. That's homemade gravy, okay? What you're doing from a mix is basically what you just did there, like opening a can. A mix is not homemade gravy, asshole. Homemade family. Here. You're not a halfway homemade family. Nothing you do is homemade. Everything you do is half-assed and bullshit. Get your white cloth. So I'm using salted butter here, so I won't add salt to the uh, watch gel. You can still add salt. <laughs> Have you ever grilled before? Like, salt is the main ingredient. Salt them shits. I think if I had Unsalted butter. No, you can still put some. You can still put some salt on there. 
can only see his hand. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's uh, how long are you putting... What's in the 425 on? Oh, I should probably look how long I'm supposed to cook that. Mm -hmm. What? Cook what? I think it's 29. What's in the top? That was for the lobster. Oh, good, good. Alright, 450 for like, yeah, 25. I think this is going to be like 10. Yeah, it should all get done. You don't have to make fries? Quick dinner. Oh, to Canada. Is this your ode to Canada? Look, I get you hate me, Alicia. I get it. It's just, so this is her way of getting back at me. It hurts, I'm not gonna lie. It worked a little bit. She got back at me. Ode to Canada. Is this your ode to anything? Don't ever ode to people, okay? We don't need any odes. Because all you do is end up like offending people. Okay, so stop doing odes to other countries. Okay, let's go. All right, we got this cook in. No, I was just thinking of Trisha Paytas, actually. I wonder how she's doing. <laughs> That's a boil. Oh my god. Josh is still picking Ew, up. Ew, stir about that shit. Gravy. Pork gravy. Yeah, because it's. Because it's the wrong gravy! Ew. You're gross, Alicia. You just you, you nobody likes you. Lobster's done. It smells amazing. Dixie, what are you doing? Corn is finally boiling. Gravy simmering. Ew. All right. Now f off. If she pulls these French fries out of here and puts them in like a bowl or something like that. And then puts cheese curds on them and then the gravy. I'm going to fight somebody. Okay, I'm going to punch a baby or something. Don't you dare do that. Let people top their own poutine. Okay? Do not, because we all know what she's going to do. Right? She'll all put it out and then she takes pictures and everything's going to get cold. But she puts the gravy and cheese in the fries. By the time those kids get into the fries, if they do, they're going to be soggy as shit. Don't you dare, Alicia. Don't you dare. Change your damn jeans. Yeah, you gotta be careful seeing your face there. I know that now. You know that now? How long have you been cooking? You know now not to stick your face in a burning oven? Okay. I got my facial. Don't say that. Don't say I stupid fall. shit. I hope you fall. Hope you fly. I mean, you guys are used to floor fries. Let's be real. Probably not, because you don't cook shit right. Yeah. Yeah. Boil every time it's fine. Okay, touch it though with your fingers first. Make sure you touch it after you touched all the meat. Don't forget to touch each piece with your hands. Oh my god, it's the end of the world. You're a salt shaker. <laughs> You know, I saw something clever. Where, are you going to put 14 years of corn in that little thing? You put a stick of butter on a slice of bread. Why? So you don't waste any of the butter. What? You can use it like once the butter gets low enough, you can use it and wrap it around the... I don't know. It She's like, shut up. Don't, don't like d dismiss other people's cooking ideas, eh, Alicia? Because you have no business critiquing anybody on how to cook or have ideas for hacking or cooking. You suck, merp face. It's probably a good idea. I never heard of the bread thing, but it's not a bad idea. But even if it was, you have no right to ever shoot down anybody's cooking ideas. Because look at you. Look at the shit that you make. Ew. Pork gravy. You, you, you bastard. Why would you be making it up? 
Did you count them all? One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, eleven, ten. She just left it in the boiling water so that it's hot. Put here. Okay, what do you mean put in here? What do you mean? Sandwiches. And your bread's still here. frozen as shit. It's still frozen. Yeah, they're still frozen. Here's your frozen bread, assholes! Eat it! And you're not smoked meat. It's not smoked because you put liquid smoke in it. Ugh. That, they're frozen. Yes, they are. Don't lie. We can see with our eyes they're frozen. Why you gotta lie? Why are you lying about that? Put them in the microwave for a minute. I thought I bought three things of these. Why don't you thaw the bread so you kid don't have to? So here's it. Here it is. The things that shouldn't be frozen, she feeds. She serves frozen. Okay. The shit that should be warm, she serves cold. Alicia is always backwards. Butter using the bread. You asshole. I don't think that's a thing. It makes no sense. I mean, you try it then, dickweed. Why don't you just try it? Stop trying to make it a thing, Josh. It is. You, you, why don't you make a thing cooking properly? That's something you should make a thing. Okay, don't you dare put that gravy and cheese curds on that shit. Don't you dare. Oh, she's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Oh, you better effing not. No, you don't. Layer one. No. You didn't put the cheese on it. What the f are you doing? No! No! Here. Oh my god. Unless you're serving that right now, you take that back. But I'm telling you, it's so good. We had it a year ago and I still think about how good it was. Okay, well, how could it be good when you're doing it wrong? No, it's not good. You're doing it wrong. What are you doing? You haven't washed your hands either. Oh my God, I'm so... I'm over you, Alicia. I'm over you. So right now, already them shits are soggy. She poured two liters of gravy. Look, at some of them are swimming in the gravy. This is why you allow them to make their own plates. So as soon as it's ready, you go eat and you'll have a... Oh my God, man. It's like eating, it's like eating soggy cereal. You should have put the cheese on first. No, they're not going to eat that because they're going to be like, this is soggy as shit. And the gravy's wrong. You want to hear some fun facts about Canada? Sure. Canada became a country on July 1st, 1867. What? Canada did not get their flag, their own flag, until February 15th, 1965. And so that's why Canada Day is on July 4th. Oh, you think? Just like July 4th? <laughs> Actually, no, July 4th is your Independence Day. Damn it. Damn it! And the Maple I am so mad at you. symbol for Canada. Put the cheese on it. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. So you're gonna put 14 pounds of french fries and like a handful of cheese on that shit? You are uh, under arrest. I'm it's calling the bird. RCMP. What's the bird called? I don't know. Canada Goose? I can't remember. The Canada Goose? When I was What's their national bird? Yeah, that national bird. Seagull? Is it the loon? Yeah, no. Yes, it's the loon. The duck. Maybe. It's on our loony. When I was a kid, we went to Canada in the summer. That's what happened here. I knew something was off. Frick! I knew something was off. Change program, <clears throat> and you stayed with a Canadian uh, family. It's okay, Canadian it's now to be like, food, no! Or this shit's gonna be gross! Food! You should be yelling food right now. You are wrong, always wrong, and your thumbs are ugly, and you're doing this wrong. Exchange program with Canada. Oh my God. I'm not aware of We went every other summer. We went to Canada. I'm having anxiety right now. <laughs> Literally, cannot believe what she's doing. Holy shit. Oh, that's awesome. Really cool. 
We went to a jamboree when I was in Boy Scout. Jamboree. We went to a jamboree in Canada. Worcester, I think is. I think they still do it. Worcester. Yeah. Worcester. It's Ontario, I think. And we played soccer. It was like three you played soccer? soccer? Okay. Oh my god, Alicia. You have poured two liters of gravy and you F off, man. You you I fired. You're fired from anything. Smoke Don't you dare. Don't you F and dare. On the cob and lobster tail. Ew. Oh no, you did it wrong, Alicia. Poutine. Poutine. We also got clearly Canadian. I haven't seen that shit in years. Water. And these are the Canadian treats that I got off Amazon for dessert. What? I don't even know what that shit was. Are you serious? You get maple cookies? That's what you get? By dare? You get, if you want, you can get a coffee crisp or a, you know, a caramel bar. There's way better treats than that. Are you kidding me right now? Beaver tails? Get lost, dickhead. For cooking around the world night, Canada. A happy Canada day this weekend. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are. You have failed. You have failed my country. You have brought shame upon your family. And you have insulted us. And this is war. This is war. You thought the War of 1812 was bad, which we won. By the way, we kicked your ass. This is a new war. I'm going to now cook you guys some Canadian food. Get yourself wrecked, Thumbelina. You douchebag. Josh, you should feel ashamed too. Both of you. Get lost. I'm personally offended now. Dumbasses. Anyway, everybody, take a deep ass breath. Breathe out the toxic U.S. energy that tried to infiltrate our country by cooking our food. You assholes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just, I'm going to make a bunch of American food. Okay, I'm just going to deep fry a bunch of shit. Like butter and Mars bars and shit. And be like, look, American food. How would that make you feel? You dicks. American food is like, what is American? What is, if I think American food, I honestly think Steak. I think fast food. I, I, I'm not getting fast food, burgers. I'm trying to think, what is like in, inherently American? Is it like meat, potatoes, like turkey dinner? It, what, what is American? I don't even know. Both of our countries don't have a lot of like. This is definitively American. Like if you asked Europeans and everybody else, they'd think it's just the fast food. It's all the bullshit that you eat. That's I honestly think that. So you did that to yourself though. Can Canadians aren't far off though. We're like very, very much just you guys, only more polite. I mean, way more liberal, that's for sure. Like, we're almost like, we're crazy liberal. But you guys are. You guys are amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't you ever damn well forget it. And if you're gonna do this, reach out to me, let me help you, okay? Don't you ever do smoked meat like that because their kids are gonna think that's what smoked meat is and they're never gonna ever get it for real. Come up here to this country and get a real smoked meat sandwich, okay? I promise you'll be like, what? And a real Putin, none of this bullshit. Don't do what they did. Okay, because that's not who we are. We're better than that. And she's not better than that, but we are. And you are too. And I will see you. I don't know. Whenever I can. <laughs>